Um, I mean, she had a tough race anyway, so she got in there. Did she blow it? She blew it. Oh. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's, a, I think it's a, a distraction right now in the middle of this legislative session that we did not need. And, um, you know, but did you see my senator? Yeah, I did. I said, I'll sit, Senator Quarter. Senator Quarter. You know, she's lowballing that. You take a silver dollar. And I'll tell you right now, no. Creighton may have a good set of buns, but he has got the stones to go with it. Oh, wow. Constitutional carry is going to be his. Uh, you watch. Not only that, but uh, that right there, if he's not lieutenant governor or higher, bam. Oh, my gosh. I can't, I can't imagine lieutenant governor hot pants uh, being a thing, but... <sighs> You know, whatever. I he's love, actually I love my hero. Brandon. He's my hero. I love Brandon. Yeah, I do. And I, I sent him a text this morning, told him I'm praying for him. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy that he is a senator. We need look. We need a bunch more Brandon Creightons right now. Uh, we just and Steve Totes. Let's be fair. I mean, Steve has, has been oh. the guy very courageous about all this. And going back to that CD8 race, uh, if he if Steve Toth throws us hat in that race, I'm going to be supporting Steve Toth. Steve is a good dude. It. Good dude. So, all right, so that's constitutional carry. What's your handicap on whether that's going to pass or not? Is Patrick going to be 